Kaiba Yeezy. This is Kaiba Yeezy if he worked at Wegmans. Alright, let's just start off strong with the 40% string. Uh, really, it looks like his game plan is just to keep Corey out in neutral and just find that one opening for uh, for a Falco combo. I mean, it's a pretty standard Falco plan. I mean, it doesn't really deviate too much from like what you should do as a character. Okay, I'll tilt back here, B and B. Doesn't get the stock though, but he still isn't really outside of uh, kill kill percent. All right, how how's up to going to close out the stock? Cause Corey's already kind of exiting those uh those key percents. That's almost it with Rage. I mean, he was almost there. All right, so it really looks like up tilt. You kind of just needs the raw hit to to take a Corey. I mean, maybe like a back air or a down tilt. Doesn't seem like up tilt anything would really connect. No tech. That's gonna be a stock. Falco has like the shortest fire, fox, whatever move. Well, Wolf is shorter, but compared to Fox, his is like three fourths of the length. Or like two thirds of the length. Or like five eighths of the length. I'm sorry. I should I should stop. Alright, honestly, at 152, I mean, Corey really needs to just worry about two moves in Falco's kit. I mean, anything else really won't kill. I mean, maybe like a raw smash attack, but in neutral, you're not really landing that. So, Corey's kind of sitting comfortable at this high percent. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of good for him. It's kind of working out for him. Nice to land on the back here, and Corey's going to take the stock. Uh, three stock lead out, outside of Falco combo percent. I mean, he this is weirdly a comfortable lead, despite, you know, the volatility of the percent. Ooh, wishful up smash from uh, up tilted, but it's gonna get punished a little bit. But up tilted in the midst of the scramble finds the backer to seal the stock. You got a fresh new stock to play with. I mean, look at his combo. Oop, almost there with the up tilt. Up air. Okay, nice down air. Okay, let's see if he could uh, extend this to a to a to a ledge trap. That was almost sick. Oh my god, that was actually almost sick. Okay, so right now Corey is, you know, same song and dance as the stock before. I mean, he's kind of at that percent where, you know, up tilt's going to struggle to find that um, that kill. I mean, like, with a raw hit he can, but that forward almost taking it, almost making me eat my words. Yeah, up tilt really isn't going to help him too much, but maybe a down tilt. For, for a character like Mario, I mean, throwing, you know, once you get out of that combo percent as Mario, I mean, he has, you know, back airs and he has um, up smash. And a back throw too. Doesn't take it. Let's see how Corey's gonna steal the stock because it really doesn't seem like up tilted. I'm sorry for the lying. Up tilted definitely would take that stock first. But at 101%, I mean, Corey's kind of staying comfortable with the lead here. I mean, maybe like two two good Falco combos could kind of even it up. But, you know, with uh, up tilted's history of not being able to close it out at those percents, it's looking like Corey's gonna take that game one. Battlefield, Callow, Small Battlefield are the bands. Uh, I did not look at the stage he picked, but I'm assuming he, he ran it back to PS2. I was looking away from the monitor for a sec. Roy. Okay, Corey's been playing a lot of Roy recently. His Roy is pretty legit, you know. Um, I feel like we're going to see kind of like a similar game to the Mario, but... I don't know. My, my prediction, maybe a little closer this time. But... Uh, Let's see how up tilt he can respond to that game one. Maybe he can clean up his combo game and you know get those kills when he needs to instead of just getting every hit he can. Okay, up tilt, you know, same same game plan, fending off the the aggressive character in neutral and just trying to find his combos. Uh, Uh, 
how will Corey seal the stock at 101? I mean, at ledge, a lot could kill. At tilt, jab, back air. No combos off tipper down toe. He was a little too far to uh, to get that back air. And the rogue up smash is just going to take the stock on the platform. Kind of sticky platform situation. Uh, and I think it's the first time uh, up tilted took the... Okay, that was almost sick. That was the first time up tilted took the lead. Uh, he's still in the, he's still in the lead by by 54%. I mean, let's see how he could um, continue this. Uh, oh my god, that was pretty sick. Continue this the suppression he has over Corey. Maybe make him switch back to the Mario or Sora or something like that. Although I can't imagine Sora Falco is any good for Sora. I don't know. I feel like he's just super floaty. We'll get combo to Oblivion. That's gonna. Oh. oh, oh, both these players kind of, kind of spaghettiing their confirms. Okay, how will? Okay, so, so right now, you know, same as before. I mean, there we go. Okay, I was worried up tilted was gonna find his kill in time. You know, get Corey to too high of a percent where he pretty much is just a rage demon. But secures the kill at 110. About again, another lead for up tilted, but this time it's a smaller lead. I mean, 121. That's free real estate for Roy to take a kill with any tilt at this point. Okay, how will he, how will he take this? That should be the stock. That's the sweet spot at um, side B. That nair comes out so fast. It's just like, it's such a good combo breaker. I'm gonna step off the mic for a sec. Uh, but uh, this is a solid game plan by both these players.